Good morning, Trojans. Today is Monday, September 21st. It's so nice to have everybody back at school. Even though we have our mask off, Speech News is still practicing social distancing here on set. Louisiana is now in phase three, which means that all students have returned to school. With the except of our virtual students. Which means five days a week of school and classes will have both A and B students. Social distancing is still required, however, and masks must be worn at all times. And lunch will continue to be in your fifth period classrooms. COVID-19 has changed daily routines for many, but we are thankful for all of the procedures that are in place to keep us safe. Let's take a look at some statistics. As of last week, 6.5 million people nationwide have contracted the virus, and there have been over 194,000 deaths. In Louisiana, over 158,000 people have had it, and there have been 5,100 deaths. In addition to the steps ASH is already taking, the Centers for Disease Control, or the CDC, recommends you to get your flu shot this year before flu season arrives. There have also been a few more changes this year. We have a new principal. Mr. Arrington comes to us from Tioga High School, where he spent the last six years as an assistant principal. This is his 22nd year in education, and we are very lucky to have him. Speech News has had the opportunity to talk to him about his vision for the school year and learn more about him personally. Here's our new principal, Mr. Arrington. So my name is Ben Arrington. I've been in education for 22 years. Um, I've been an administrator for, for eight of those. So this year students can expect uh, to be very flexible. Uh, they can expect more than likely to move in and out of phases. Hopefully we're going forward. Uh, it's obviously the weirdest start to the school year of all time. Uh, so we're, we're all just in this kind of learning together. What made me come to ASH were actually the relationships I already had with people in this building. Uh, I have a ton of respect, particularly for the administration. My favorite show used to be Seinfeld, then The Office, and I think I've kind of landed on Parks and Rec. Those are three really good ones. Spent my first 20 years never owning an animal and then They've got two rescue dogs uh, last year, and uh, Lucy and Molly. So, uh, well, spending time and looking after them. History guy, I don't know that that's really interesting, but, uh, you know, if you ask me a few Churchill World War II questions, I'll, I'll probably be able to talk at length about those things. Yeah. We're looking forward to a great year with Mr. Arrington. Over the summer, one of our football players, Shield Taylor, who plays tight end, committed to Stanford University. Overall, Shield has had offers from over 20 schools, including Duke, Virginia, and UCLA. But in the end, he chose to go to Stanford. Here's Shield to tell us more about making that decision and his expectations for the football season this year. So there was a lot of uh, great factors that led me to choose Stanford. Um, I, I fit very well into their offensive scheme, uh, and they produce uh, guys my size with my skill set in the NFL every year. It's one of my dreams is definitely to go to the NFL. Uh, they compete against great teams. They are a great team, but uh, I think the thing that really brought me and my mom to a decision was they recruited me for more than just a football player. They recruited me for uh, a student and a, and a young man as well. Um, and the dream they had was that, you know, they could help me become the young man that I've always wanted to be. And that young man would be able to put my mom in a better place or the place I wanted to be. So uh, I think I was pretty sold after that. Um, things are looking really good. Uh, we have a really strong team, a lot of talent. Uh, I think everybody just wants to be the best they can be, and we're working t towards that every day. Uh, just really uncertain times right now. It's, uh, it's like a brotherhood. Um, everyone holds each other to a really high standard. Uh, we all compete against each other because we want the best for each other and out of each other. You know, it, it taught me discipline, um, how to be resilient, how to be let metal in tough situations. Good luck to Shield along with the rest of the Trojan football team as they prepare for the upcoming season. Our first game will be in a couple of weeks on October 2nd. We will be playing against Parkway. With the school year starting off without our normal welcome,
we want to highlight some organizations on campus you can join. Fellowship of Christian Athletes is an organization that gathers to encourage students to make a difference at their school. They do service projects and meet together for fellowship. Ms. Andrews is the sponsor of FCA and shares important information if you're wanting to participate. Hey guys, I'm Ms. Andrews. I am the Fellowship of Christian Athletes huddle leader at ASH and I want to welcome you back. I know that you guys have been asking how do you join FCA and I do know that things will look different this year because of the pandemic. I know that we can't meet early in the morning to pray like we do for our school and fellow classmates each morning but things are looking like we can do some things maybe monthly. Um, we do have an Instagram that you could join and we have a Google Classroom that you will also be able to join. The, the graphics should be attached to this video right now. We have a lot of things that we have planned throughout the year and we hope that you guys, especially the athletes, could get involved, like monthly socials and monthly service projects to where we could serve others. I hope that you guys uh, join Google, join the class. Uh, there is a, a club fee, of course, for a class t-shirt, but all that will be written in the classroom. So if you can join the classroom, um, then you guys will be set and we will take memberships for the next month and then we will start sometime in October. Thank you guys. Hey guys, I'm Kinsey and I will be bringing you your FCA encouragement of the week. The verse I picked is Matthew 5:14, which is saying that you are the light of the world. And being the light means showing Christ through your words, through your actions, meaning be kind to others, encourage others, build them up, you know, be there for them. So I encourage you this week to be the light. You can always stop by Miss Andrew's room if you have any more questions about joining. We will be ending the show today with a very special performance. You can definitely say COVID-19 is impacting our school year and our social lives, but that doesn't mean we can't make some good memories this year. Get ready to check out two of Ash's finest choral members, Ian Stolmeyer and Chris Martin. They're showing off their skills in this coronavirus-inspired music video. Sing along and enjoy. Have a great week. You remember, I said it'd be over by September. Well, here we are now, and it ain't over. Now we're wasting our days away. Now we're trying to keep our people from dying. Wear your mask, stop lying. We need to keep the virus away.